I just got an idea. Gotta go. Star, wait. I can't keep lying. My mom hates people that lie. Listen, I'm not just doing this for you. I'm doing it for me, too. I don't understand. No time to talk now. I'll call you later. Well, you see, I was meant to meet uh, the commissioner and, and, a, and a little boy uh, around noon. Have you seen them? Uh, no, actually, uh, noon. That was some time ago, Miss Medina. You might want to try to call him in his office. Well, yes, I have. I, many times. I've even gone back and forth. But um, well, I don't understand if plans had changed. I'm sure that Bo would have called me. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I, I wish I could help you with that, but actually, I just just got here. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for listening to me. Oh, so sorry. Don't ask the waiters here anything. They're total idiots. Hi, Stella. I'm looking for Bo and Matthew. I heard. They were here a long time ago. Oh, you saw them? Yeah, I heard they were going to a baseball game. Yes, yes, I was going to join them. It was all planned. Really? Weird. What's weird? Well, I heard him invite Nora. Who? Who did? Bo did? Yeah. I mean, she sounded really excited, and they all left together. But like I said, it was a really long time ago. Mm-hmm. I don't understand this at all. I was all planned. I was going to be joining them. You know what my mom says? She says that men are totally out for themselves and that you shouldn't put up with it. She says that you should just tell them to take a hike. Um, I'm afraid it's not that that simple, Star. Sure it is. He gave your ticket away, didn't he? So why don't you just give him away? In fact, I know this really nice guy named Walker. He works at my dad's paper, The Sun. Maybe I could call him for Star, you. Star, uh, what do you think that you're doing? Would you excuse us, Gabrielle? Yes. I'm so sorry. You forget about Daniel Colson. For goodness sake, if the whole world were facing nuclear disaster and you saved it, he'd still complain that your paperwork wasn't in order. Mm. And you filed it wrong. <laughs> yeah, he does love me, doesn't he? I'm sorry to interrupt. Hey, honey. Well, would it be all right if I spoke to you alone? I will uh, catch you later. Okay. How could you do it to me? I'm sorry. Stand me up like that, and then take Nora to the game instead of me. Now, wait a minute. What? You're the one that stood me up. This is some crazy mix-up. That's it's nobody's fault. Look, when I thought that you had to cancel, Nora happened to be there. Matthew wanted her to go to the game, so what was I supposed to say? I you know what? But I never would have said yes if you'd have been able to be there. You know. You can. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I'm sorry, I'll be back in a minute, okay? I'll just put it, just put it on your desk. Yeah. Okay. Hi. How could you? How could I, what? You knew damn well how much it meant to me to go to that game with Bo and Matthew. God, Nora. How could you? You're blaming me? Who else knew that I was going to that game? Okay, Gabrielle, all I know is that Bo got a message. You couldn't make it to the game. No I reason, did not no explanation. send Bo a message. But it's quite clear that you took advantage of a situation when you saw one, didn't you? Actually, I thought I was helping out since I thought you were with someone else. Someone else? Who would I possibly be with? Troy. Troy? Why would I be with Troy? Gabrielle, I was at the palace. I heard you lie to Bo, saying that you dined alone. I did dine alone. Gabrielle, you didn't dine alone, because I was at the palace and saw you. And I talked to Troy. He told me he'd had dinner with you. All right. 
Yes, yes, Troy did come and sit down. The food was already there, and Bo had last minute canceled. I, I, I don't even know why I'm explaining this to you, because it doesn't matter, because I could care less about Troy. Bo is the only thing that I care about in this entire world. So, I now need to ask you, Nora, please, I would rather you didn't say anything to Bo, because the reason I didn't tell him that is I didn't want it to look as though something was happening when there was nothing happening. What's happening? Nothing, we're just, uh, just talking through the misunderstanding about the game. Ah, uh, you're not still upset about that. No. Not anymore. On the next One Life to Live. Well, you lost the bet, so now you're mine. If I were you, I'd be really careful, because Troy's up to something. We'll, we'll, we'll handle it, Colin. Let's get out of here. Let's go someplace where we can be alone. I didn't tell anybody that you were friends with my dad.